once you are past the cognitive phase of serving, okay, the skill, learning how to serve, um, I think it's important to establish that serving to an empty court, in my book, serving to an empty court, unless you're teaching a 12 and under how to serve the ball, is useless. Because all you're doing is like you're playing darts on a big wall. Now, what I did is I took, I, you guys see the targets? The green, the blue, and the orange over there? So we go from no target to putting a flat target. Now, see if you can hit the target or maybe come as close as you can to it. OK, what's your name? Lucy, go ahead, show me. So now what you did is you went from here to here. Because now they have a point. It's like you're playing darts, and now you're aiming for the bull's eye. Anyone, it doesn't matter. So, OK, let's try again one more time, yeah. Now let's hold it for one sec. So, a flat target over here is better than no target. Terry, you ready? You got my soccer players? All right. Now, an upright target is better than a flat target. So we're going to put these three targets over there. Yeah, six, five, and one is fine. And now I want you guys to see if you can hit the target. You guys ready? All right. Next, show me. So now we have an upright target. Definitely better than a flat target. Go ahead. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yes. OK. So what we're doing here is, yeah, go ahead. Hit it if you can. Excellent. One more time. Last one. That's pretty good, actually. I like the speed on that. All right, bring it in, you guys. Bring it in. Give me a ball if you don't mind. So you got that upright. If you don't mind, can I have the ball? Yeah. So all your life, you've been told to serve to targets. We put cones, we put you know, backpacks, uh, uh, you know, towels, whatever the case might be. Well, that's the problem. I think it should be the other way around. You want to serve away from targets. So we do, if you do this, then you obviously, you definitely don't want to serve here because that's what the platform is. I want to serve maybe in the seam over here, maybe over here, force this person to go from here to here. So I want to serve away from the target. OK? So that's, again, philosophically speaking. Studies have shown that if you can serve this over here, if you can hit this, you're going to score a lot of aces. But the problem is when you tell players to serve one, a lot of balls land over here. So you definitely want to go deep. Or if you serve between five and six, not five, this over here. So everybody in the gym, before we start the season, everybody has to serve one between five and six, 80% speed. And mostly for the stand floors and the jump floors. For the spike servers, you want to put speed behind the ball. You're spiking. OK, and it's got to be a certain speed because before we allow a player to spike serve. Any spike servers here? OK, jump serve. You can, right? You're a jump, you're a jump floor too, right? OK, go ahead and serve. If you guys don't mind, let's open this up. Go ahead. So what's the goal again? We want to serve away from target. So serve one. See if you can hit this head over here, right here. You want to serve right here? Or five and six. Yeah, uh, actually, jump float. The, she's the big kahuna here. OK, let's try again. Maybe somebody feed her a ball. And after, go ahead, yeah, keep going. And after you do this, everybody has to serve one, five, six, and then you can specialize. OK, can you go short? Can you go inside the tent? Try again. Can you go inside the tent? That's all right. That's OK. Keep going. OK. I see a lot of teams, they do this. Still, in today's game, a lot of coaches like to, t to start the service receive back. How about here? This becomes, that becomes an area for me. So it's not, that's a great serve. So now it's not six. It is not six areas anymore. Now you have nine. One, five, six. 
everything inside the 10, and everything in between. So everybody in the gym has to serve nine, but you have, you have to master one and five, six. Give me five, six again. Why five, six? You know why? So this is typically what over here? Most teams do what with this player over here? She's what we call a swing hitter. She's a front row player who's in the service seat fast. If you serve five, six, you're gonna cause some miscommunication between the libero and this person over here, and therefore, you're gonna throw them off balance or get an ace. One more time, five, six, last one. Yep. Okay, now, can you put more speed behind the ball? I would say this is more like 60%. Let's go 80. And why? Because speed kills. Speed kills. Even if the passer know, knows where you're serving the ball, speed kills. Even as a hitter, if the defender knows where you're gonna hit the ball, it doesn't matter, speed kills. Okay, so that's why 80% is critical. Go ahead. Once in a while, I'll probably ask a player to go 100%, but that's situational, all right? Last one here. Yep. Go ahead, yep. Five, six, yes. So what happened over here now? Yeah, let's bring it in. Before we can talk about it, go ahead, go ahead, yeah, yeah, bring it in. So what happened here? We went from no target to a flat target to an upright target. That's actually best. But what's really best? If you want to get better at serving, what's best? A human being as you target. You play, you play the game. You play the game. You serve, you pass, you set, you hit. That's really the best passing game. It's the best serving game. It's the best hitting game. And I'm a big believer in that. OK? But this is a lot better than having no target. OK, this is how you play darts. You're obviously going to look at the ball's eye before you throw it. It's the same thing with serving. So you always want to find a reference point before you serve the ball on the court. Could be a shoe, maybe spandex, shoelaces, doesn't matter. All right? 